the one Quicksilver card show. Capital One Quicksilver card is simple. No need for a whole song and dance. Don't be sad. With Quicksilver, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. That's the spirit. The Capital One Quicksilver card is simple, unlimited 1.5% cash back. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One Bank, USANA. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is a morning update. What's going on, everybody? So before we jump into our article, just a quick heads up and a reminder. On the 30th of this month, I will be doing an Ask Me Anything. And I think it's long overdue, as I was saying in the previous segment that I talked about this. Um... It's long overdue that we all sit down and have a nice heart-to-heart. So I figure with the holidays all creeping up on everybody, it's the day before New Year's Eve, um, the lockdowns are in place, or slowdowns like we have here in Las Vegas. So I'm guessing that's probably a pretty good time for uh, maximum reach, right? Most of you folks should probably be home, hanging out, watching some TV, getting fat on some good holiday food, hopefully. So, me and my beard are gonna pop in, and we'll do an hour, hour and a half or so, and we'll just, you know, we'll chat about whatever you folks want. The case, other stuff, sports, whatever it may be. And we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll get to chatting about it. Um, I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, but I'm just, dude, things have been hectic, right? There's been a lot going on. There's a lot going on with the podcast, obviously. Um, then, of course, real life comes storming in. So, what I'd like to do is kind of make this a, you know, once every other month, once every few months type of deal where we do an Ask Me Anything, and then if there's any questions that you folks have about the case or anything, we can uh, we can address them during those sessions. And if you, it ends up being something that you enjoy, right, that the listeners enjoy out there, then maybe we could do it more often. And as you all know, I've also talked about doing some more video type stuff, and that is certainly in the works as well. So, the 30th of December, we're definitely going to do the Ask Me Anything session, and we'll uh, see how it turns out, see if you folks find it, um, you know, helpful or worthwhile, and if so, we'll continue to do it. So, with that said, Ghislaine Maxwell and her boyfriend... Scott Borgerson have been, shall we say, in the news the last few days. And now there are some new pictures that have emerged of Ghislaine Maxwell and Scott Borgerson all the way back in 2013 together at some conference in Iceland. Now, Scott Borgerson was still married at this time, and... According to all accounts, this was when they had first met. Maybe not the first time, but it was early in their relationship. And this was the kind of event where you have all kinds of people at, right? These sort of events, um, it's always a who's who whenever you have any kind of environmental type of deal, right? And that's what this was. This was the Arctic uh, Circle Assembly. And it was in uh, Reykjavik. So Ghislaine Maxwell was there. You know, she had the Terra Mara project. And Borgerson obviously had cargo metrics. And all of the other people that were there have some sort of uh, skin in the game one way or the other. And it was the perfect storm, right? Maxwell, Borgerson got together, started talking. Things went Good for them, I, I guess, and, and they got along, and, well, now we're here. Scott Borgerson left his wife for Ghislaine Maxwell. 
How the hell do you explain that at Christmas dinner to your family? Yeah, Mom, you know, I've been with Rebecca for all of these years. We got a couple of kids together. Loving wife, she supported me, you know, when I really didn't have anything, yada, 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 yada. But I decided that I'm going to destroy my family, dip out on my wife, and all of that for Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein's co-conspirator, fellow child abuser, general all-around scuzzbag, and bipedal serpent. Hey, Dad, can you pass me the potatoes? How the hell do you think that conversation breaks off and goes down? I know for a fact how it will go down in my house. It would not be pleasant for me. Okay, first of all, you don't bounce out on your family. Second of all, you certainly don't bounce out on your family for Ghislaine Maxwell. I mean, just check out the movie Goodfellas, right? Look at Henry Hill. When he was scooting around on Karen, hanging out with Janet Rossi. What, what, did, what did Paulie tell him? That he has to go back, right? You have to go back to your wife. You could do this, but you have to go back to your wife. And in a nutshell, that's really what it comes down to, right? You can't be dicking around on your family. And you certainly can't be leaving your family for someone like Ghislaine effing Maxwell. But here we are. Your cousin from Boston, Scott Borgerson, has decided it's a good idea to not only leave his wife and destroy his family to be with Ghislaine Maxwell, but then he thinks it's a good idea to go all the way balls to the wall and offer up every single dollar he owns, he has, every single dollar he possesses to try and bail this bipedal serpent out of jail. Meanwhile, he has two young children who must be saying to themselves, what in the hell's wrong with dad? He's trying to bail this lady out of jail. I'm pretty sure that we could use that $22.5 million. Probably go a long way to make sure that they have a secure life. I don't know about you, but $22 million in the bank or in some sort of trust fund sure would alleviate a lot of my problems. It would also cause a lot of problems if my pops decided that he was going to try and bail out the lady that not only he left my mom for, but also someone who was accused of the heinous crimes that Maxwell is accused of. Our article tonight, to, excuse me, our article this morning is from the New York Post. Headline, early photo emerges of Ghislaine Maxwell with husband-to-be Scott Borgerson. This article was authored by Rebecca Rosenberg. And you see in the picture here, you got Scott Borgerson standing there next to Ghislaine Maxwell. Wedding ring very apparent on his finger. He's wearing a, a suit with a red tie. Has himself a nice little glass of wine in his hand or maybe some champagne or something. And next to him, old bipedal serpent ass is standing there in some frumpy-ass old lady blouse with a blazer over it with a, a pair of Hillary Clinton-esque pearls dangling off of her neck with this moronic beaming smile on her face as she knows that she is sinking her jaws into Scott Borgerson over here. And your cousin from Boston is standing there with this really stupid look on his face, having no idea the patch of quicksand that he finds himself in. An early photo of Jeffrey Epstein cohort, co-conspirator, fellow child abuser, general all-around scuzzbag and bipedal serpent, Ghislaine Maxwell, standing beside her then soon-to-be husband, Scott Borgerson at a conference in Iceland, emerged Wednesday. My question for you all is this, by the way. Why is she invited to this conference 
after Epstein had been arrested already. Why is she invited to any of these conferences? All of these people that were there, all of these UN types, you all know how I feel about the UN and those scummy sons of bitches. All of these people knew what Ghislaine Maxwell was, just like Jeff Bezos knew what she was, just like the uh, uh, ex-boss lady from Reddit knew what she was, Ellen Power or whatever the hell. Everybody knew. Cindy McCain even knew what Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein were. And they still cavorted with them. They still hung out. They still spent time with them. And you see it here at the... um, The summit inside of Iceland. The same sort of thing occurring here. These people giving her legitimacy. These people helping to refurbish her image. Maxwell, 58, and then married tech CEO Borgerson, 44, are beaming in the shot snapped in October 2013 at the inaugural Arctic Circle Assembly in Reykjavik, Iceland, the Daily Mail reported. Now, I'm guessing that she handled her business and was pounding that Geritol before the event, right? With that big-ass smile on her face. You would have to think that Scott Borgerson would have a friend or two that would say to him early on in this relationship, listen, my dude, we got to talk real quick. Can we meet up for a couple of drinks or something? They get to the bar, they get to wherever these rich ass people go at man in Manchester by the sea. You sit down with them and you're like, look, man, I'm going to say some words and some of them are going to be bad, but you're just going to have to listen. And then you just go into the whole, what in the F are you thinking, bro? You're hanging out with Ghislaine Maxwell. You know who this lady is? You know what she was involved in, allegedly? You know what she is uh, being accused of, bro? What are you doing? You're ruining your life. You're leaving your wife. You're bouncing out on your children. Furthermore, you're going to bring your children around this lady, bro? And that would be sort of the gist of the conversation I would have with my friend if he was hanging out with Ghislaine Maxwell or somebody like her. Obviously, Borgerson doesn't have any friends around him that really care about this dude's well-being. They met for the first time at the annual conference, which focuses on the preservation of the Arctic and featured speakers that year, including, oh, well, what do you know? then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and Google Chairman Eric Schmidt, according to the New York Times and the organization's website. But Hillary Clinton doesn't really know Ghislaine Maxwell. It was just a coincidence that Maxwell was at her daughter's wedding. Come on, stop it. And as far as Bill goes, Bill never got a massage by Shantae Davies. we never seen that. Bill's never been to the island. He's never been to Zorro Ranch. Stop it. Hillary Clinton, huh? Good old Hillary Clinton. Seems to be that her and Ghislaine Maxwell are a lot closer than she'd like to let on. Let's not forget, Hillary Clinton's State Department gave Ghislaine Maxwell, her nephew, Alexander DeRossi, a job at the State Department. And not only a job at the State Department, but a seat at the table. When it comes to strategy in the Near East. But I guess that was just a coincidence as well. And Eric Schmidt, another smarmy scumbag. The president of ABC Corporation until he stepped down. Obviously that included Google. And just another all around generally scary dude in my opinion. All of these people are creepy, right? All of these so-called elites... All of these people who think that they're operating on a different plane than us, they're all creepy. And Eric Schmidt certainly, it it, it falls into the category as well, in my opinion. In the photo, Borgerson clutches a wine glass, his his gold wedding band on full display. 
and is wearing a pinstripe suit, red tie, and a red pocket square. Maxwell was in a blazer, a white blouse, and a long strand of pearls. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about earlier. Um, in the picture that they have accompanying the article here, you could see it. And uh, Maxwell is frumpy as hell, running around looking like your frumpy-ass old chemistry teacher from ninth grade. And Scott Borgerson is bouncing on his wife for this lady? Come on, man. Soon after the meeting, Borgerson and his wife, the mother of his two children, would divorce after more than a decade of marriage record show. And again, think about that. A decade with this lady. I've been with my girlfriend, my soulmate, the love of my life, for a little over five years. I can't even imagine double that time and then leaving her for anyone, never mind Ghislaine Maxwell. When you make a commitment like that, especially when it's something like marriage, that's a serious commitment. That's not the, the kind of thing that you just shrug off, the, the, you know, anytime a geriatric comes strolling into your uh, life. I mean, I, I it's cool for Borgerson because now that they can get, well, not during the pandemic, but they were using that 55 and over for those cheaper movie tickets, I'm sure. So I guess that was a plus for Borgerson. But besides that, I don't see the perks here, folks. Borgerson, who founded Cargo Metrics, a maritime innovation company that studies shipping patterns, was moderating a discussion about business in the Arctic at the 2013 conference The Times reported. So all of these people like Borgerson and the other uh, tech types, they're all suspect to me. You know, you even go back to like Elizabeth Holmes at Theranos and... It just, the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And a lot of these people are propped up by our moronic politicians. And they're co-signed. And then when shit goes south, it's just like with Epstein. Oh, well, we had no idea that these people were up to no good. Oh, yeah, okay, sure you didn't. Maxwell, who had launched and appointed herself CEO of the Ocean Conservation Group Terramar Project, spoke at the assembly. You know, it's unfortunate that Ghislaine Maxwell was even afforded a seat at the table here. But it goes to show you how these people think that they really don't care about these survivors And they don't care about the situation that occurred. And they don't care about the people that were abused allegedly at Maxwell's hands. They don't care about none of that. Maxwell's part of their crew. Maxwell's part of so-called polite society. So what are they going to do? They're going to surround the wagons, folks. They're going to lay cover fire. They're going to try and refurbish her image. Until it gets to a point where that potato is too hot and they can no longer handle it. Terra Mar, which had no offices and gave no grants, largely served to rebrand the British socialite, co-conspirator, general all-around scuzzbag, bipedal serpent, image, the Times reported. Yeah, of course, that's what all of this stuff is for them, right? It's like a nice paint job. Over the old paint job. Let's strip it all down, right? And then we'll add this new paint job and we'll have this IROC Z looking cherry once again. And all of these people that let her into their confidence, all of these people who let her come to these events, invited her to these parties, hung out with her, had private dinners with her at the vegan house, Slick Willie are all enablers, have all engaged in helping her rebuild her reputation. And they should all be ashamed. But guess what? You can't be ashamed if you don't have any morals. You can't be ashamed if you're devoid of consciousness. 
Friends of Maxwell told the paper she was instantly smitten with the former Coast Guard officer who was 14 years her junior, calling him hot and brilliant. That just, I almost vomited just there. Imagine Ghislaine Maxwell calling someone hot. Oh, he's hot, darling. Why don't you invite him over for the next spirit cooking? These people are unbelievable. Hot and brilliant, too. Yeah, we also thought Jeffrey Epstein was hot, right? Ghislaine Maxwell and Scott Borgerson might be one of the most odd, weirdest couplings in quite some time. The pair tied the knot in 2016. After their marriage, Maxwell transferred the majority of her assets into a trust controlled by Borgerson. I'm going to go more into that later on today, so I'm not going to dig too deep into that, but it really goes to what I would, I've been talking about, and that is the private war chests that Ghislaine Maxwell certainly has access to, in my opinion. And moving it into Borgerson's name is a pretty shrewd move, right? It gives her a lot of ability to protect that money and those assets from the survivors. But what it also does is obviously wraps their finances up. And if there's a RICO case, well, I think Borgerson might be somebody that they might want to have a chat with. In 2019, the same year Epstein killed himself in jail while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges, allegedly, all assets in the trust, then worth $22.5 million, were distributed to her husband, according to Manhattan Federal Court Papers. And isn't it funny that he has agreed to co-sign for just exactly that amount? Ex- just as I was saying, when all of this was first breaking, before the, any of this came out, I sniffed this shit right out. That's what these people do. That's what these so-called members of polite society do. They shuffle that money. They move it. They duck. They dodge. They hide it. And then they make moves like this. And in hopes that they safeguard their fortune. So when they say that um, Borgerson's putting up his money, I always, you know, rolled my eyes at that, right? You, I looked at his net worth and just a, a cursory look. He was only worth $5 million, So I didn't know where he was coming up with the rest of this dough. And then, of course, you just take a second, look at the whole entire scope of what's going on, and it becomes very clear what was going on here. This was Ghislaine Maxwell's money. She had it squirreled away. And I'm sure there's more than what is to account here, by the way. In 2019, the same year Epstein killed himself in jail while awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges, all assets in the trust, then worth $22.5 million, were distributed to her husband, according to Manhattan Federal Court Papers. It was very important. I wanted to read that part again because it shows you exactly what she's up to. And it shows you how she's trying to obfuscate, how she's trying to pull the curtain over her behavior and her activities. And then to top it all off as a final middle finger salute to the survivors, she moves this money into a trust to try and safeguard it. Maxwell was jailed earlier this year on a six-count indictment alleging she procured underage girls for Epstein and helped abuse them. In Maxwell's bail application, Borgerson, whose name was redacted from the documents, described their ideolic ideolic life in an oceanfront mansion in Manchester-by-the-Sea, Massachusetts, before her July 2nd arrest. Aw, how sweet. It's a Hallmark movie unfolding right before our eyes. Said nobody ever. Nobody cares about your little happy life in Manchester by the sea. Nobody cares about the life that you thought you were going to build with Ghislaine Maxwell. Did you really think that this was never going to come back around Did you think that this train had left the station and was never going to make another stop in bipedal Serpentville? 
you must have forgot. Crimes like this don't go away. And people have very long memories, my friend. And if you think that anyone feels bad that your new life with Ghislaine Maxwell has been uprooted over her own actions, by the way, her own choices, by the way, then you're wrong. She's going to get her day in court, like I've been saying, like I've always said. She's going to get a chance to defend herself and defend her name in front of a jury of her peers. And the chips are going to fall where they may. But if you think anyone has any sort of empathy about the fact that you and her were ripped out of your bazillion dollar home on the, on the coast in uh, Massachusetts, boy, you are sorely mistaken. He has agreed to co-sign a $22.5 million bond that the couple says represents the entirety of their assets and is part of a $28.5 million bail package in a desperate bid to get her released from federal lockup, according to court papers. She has pleaded not guilty. And if you think Elaine Maxwell doesn't have more money than, than what they're saying here, then I guess you believe that Jeffrey Epstein didn't have any more money. What, you don't think that Ghislaine Maxwell had her own thing going on the side at the same time when Epstein was involved in his financial crimes? You don't think Ghislaine Maxwell was getting off, a, uh, broken off a chunk? You don't think that she had her own vectors to access this kind of money? Of course she did. She was, look, Ghislaine Maxwell's a lot of things, folks. She's not stupid. She's shrewd. And she knows how to manipulate a situation. And if you don't think that, that she had her own war chest hidden away with a couple of fazools for a rainy day, then you have not been paying attention to who we are dealing with here. With that said, I don't think $22.5 million or $50 million is going to get the job done with Judge Nathan. I don't think that we have anything new that we have available to us as the public anyway that would move the needle. Now, did Ghislaine Maxwell's team turn something over to Judge Nathan? That is a bombshell, you know, uh, event? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not privy to that information, right? But from what is available to us and from what we have seen thus far, there is no reason whatsoever for Ghislaine Maxwell to be out of jail until she is tried by a jury of her peers. And then, and only then, will her fate truly be decided. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at B-O-B-B-Y underscore C-A-P-U-C-C-I. All of the links that go with this episode can be found in the description box. All right, folks, I'll be back later on and we will pick up where we left off. Representing the Audi rings at Orange County, following in the footsteps of the nation's number one, introducing the new Audi Fletcher Jones Costa Mesa. 42,000 square feet of luxury amenities for you to enjoy with an indoor-outdoor experience. A dedicated team assembled to deliver on a five-star promise to be the best of the best. Our team looks forward to being your guide, introducing the new Audi Fletcher Jones Costa Mesa. Experience the Fletcher Jones difference. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like Taylor Swift choosing what to wear. It's looking kind of chilly out today. I think I'll go with a cardigan. Yep, even easier than that. And with our top-rated app, you can bank anytime, anywhere, making Capital One an even easier decision. That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? New consumer accounts only. Approval required. Terms apply. Capital One and a member FDIC.